In this video, guys, we want to do a quick video on mixing fuel. All right, two strokes, you got to run oil in your gas. That's that's how it works. You know, they they burn oil in the gas to lubricate the crank and all sorts of things. So we're gonna do a simple video for some of you guys that don't know on on how we mix fuel. So I just want to show you guys this little quick mix thing. And by no means am I like a huge you got to have the Maximus quick mix. There's the ratio right. There's, there's all sorts of these things. I use the quick mix one because that's what was available at my local shop where I buy parts. And, and it's good. So on the back side here, you can look like what I want. 32 to 1, right? 24 to 1, 40 to 1. And this here is well, how many liters of gas or, or gallons. So five gallons of fuel, right? And then you, you fill this up with oil up to that five gallons of fuel. You dump it in and then you add your fuel. Done. We buy race fuel. The race fuel comes in five gallon cans. So we're going to use it that way. Um, but if you go to the pump, if you're in Canada, it's in liters. If you're in the States, it's gallons. Just mix it accordingly. It's, it's pretty simple. I like to run race fuel because there's no ethanol. And there's other additives and stuff like that. C12, really good VP fuel. There's a billion different brands of fuel out there. They all make good product. Nobody's trying to make a crappy product, okay? And then a quality oil. So this is the oil that I run, the Motul. Uh, I like it. And we're just gonna, I have a half open one here. So I'm gonna top it off and then we're gonna open our large one. And uh, off we go to the races basically. Gonna dump it into our jug. There's the huge argument. And no matter when you talk about mixing two stroke fuel, guys are gonna start screaming. Okay, and uh, it doesn't matter who's right or who's wrong. It doesn't matter. What matters is, is, and what I'm talking about guys is, is do you mix 32 to one or 40 to one? Okay, this is basically the major argument. Some manufacturers call for 24 to one for a break in period. Some say 32 in the book. Um, and there's a lot of guys saying I run 40 so I don't foul plugs. I personally run 40 to one. That's what I have my bike set up for, um, and, and they run really good, and I've never had problems. Have I ran 32 in the past? Sure I have. 32, there's nothing wrong with 32. You just have to have it set up for your bike. So am I going to tell you always mix your gas 32 to 1? If you don't know, and your bike is set up, the stock bike, read what the manufacturer says and mix it to that. But for our purpose today, we're going to run 40 to 1. So we're gonna fill this up to the five gallon mark. Because that's how much fuel we have to mix today. We're getting real close. Right there, five gallons. Perfect. Put our cap on our oil. We've got our oil all separated. We're gonna dump it in our mixing jug. We're actually gonna pour a little fuel into this and slosh it around to get the rest of the oil out once we open up our race fuel right here. So because race fuel is ridiculous expensive, I bought one of these pumps because I was spilling it and that was upsetting me because it cost me a lot of money. So I have an electric pump, we turn it on, it pumps the race fuel into the jug and off we go. All right, so we're all mixed up to five gallons. We, uh, we did pretty good. And that's basically as simple as it gets, guys. Now we got a jug of mixed up fuel ready to go. Now what I actually do is fuel doesn't last as long in a plastic tank as it does a steel tank. So I'll transfer it back in the steel tank for long-term storage. Uh, and I mean like if I'm not using it in a day, but if you're gonna race today or whatever, there's your fuel ready to go. That's how easy it is to mix up your fuel. It takes no time at all. Uh, it's not a hard process, especially if you buy the proper mixing container. It really shows you uh, bang on what you need to do. It's a simple, simple thing. Now for long-term storage, I will put the fuel back in the steel tank. It doesn't last as long. I'm not gonna run through all this in a, in a week. So 
I'm gonna put, uh, fill up the bike. I'm gonna go do some riding today. And then put the rest back into the steel tank. And if I need it, I'll just put the pump in the steel tank and pump it into my bike. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully this helps some of you out. If uh, you guys wanna start a thing about why 32 is better or why 40 to one is better, I'd love to hear the comments. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one.